share with you today one of the many reasons why the Collect app is one of my favorite apps for my project life and scrapbooking and keeping up to date with the pictures that I want to add into my scrapbooks. The Collect app basically just captures a photo a day. Um, if you want more than one photo, you can add, easily add more than one photo for each day. So you can see here I haven't added a photo for Monday. I wanted to show you how easy it is to do that. So you click on the number and then camera roll. And let's see, I took this photo yesterday with my precious little boy. We were picking up my daughter from school. And you can see here you can either crop it or not crop it. I'm going to choose to crop it to the square. And then you click use. Now I add my journal in here. So I'm going to simply type in what I was doing. And you can see how easy it is to add your journaling directly onto your card. And you click done and then save. And that's all you have to do to save a fit photo. Now if you want to add more than one photo for that day, you simply tap the add button, camera roll. And you go right back in and you pick another photo. I don't have another photo for Monday. My other reason why this is my favorite all-time app is here you can see my total month of March complete. If you tap on the little button down at the bottom right, you can see that it shows dates. You, know, you can do that and have all the dates show up. High date. Now if you tap on the little arrow on the bottom with the paper, you can create a collage. And you can see the different collages that it gives you. You can export the photos, which is a great option to have. So I have 73 photos in March. If I tap on export, sorry, click the export style, and you have 4x6 Polaroid or landscape, or 3x4. Uh, the 3x4s are great for your project life layout and awesome for design app project life layout, which is basically nine three by fours and one four by six. So if you tap on three by four, then back, and then you click on export, you can export all the photos to your camera roll or to your Dropbox account. So if you tap on Dropbox, you see it generating. So it's gonna take a little while because I have 73 photos that I need to send over to Dropbox in the three by fours export style and there you go it's automatically exporting all of my photos to my Dropbox I will show you how to link the collect app to your Dropbox in a minute as soon as this is done okay so to go ahead and connect your Dropbox you're gonna to go to settings and you can see I have my settings set on to remind me to take a photo a day because sometimes I do forget and if I get the little reminder I do remember to go ahead and add my photo that day and then you click on Dropbox and you can see that my account is already set up so it's very easy to set up your Dropbox account and link it to your Collect app by just simply putting in your username and your password you can also set up a Flickr account And all you have to do is add your username and password. I don't need my Flickr account set up because I don't transfer my photos to Flickr. And after that, you're all done. So these are the few reasons why the Collect app is my favorite app. You can also change when you download the app. You get one set view of your journal cards, but if you pay the dollar ninety nine, you can have different views, and you can click on edit details. And select design, and these are the different designs that you have if you pay for the dollar ninety nine of the app. As you can see, this is the one that I chose, and that's the one that will be used for all of my photos. Thank you for watching this video on the Collect App Review by ScrappingWonders.com.